What is going on, guys and girls? Welcome back to CK2 Holy Fury and King Hakon Magnuson. 21 years old, still stressed and with an infected wound. This wound is ridiculous. I mean, this infection has been going on for like years now. It's it's a it's a bit insane. Uh, so I hope that this is going to go away soon. Um, but yeah, that that sh really shouldn't stay that long. Anyway, uh, I've got quite a lot of plans. Uh, I mean, obviously the biggest one being found founding a new empire. But um, in order to do that, we need a lot more prestige. We need a lot more money as well, and we need nine more realm size. That shouldn't be too difficult to acquire. So nine more, and then, uh, yeah, we could actually go for the Empire. Um, that's definitely my goal, but before that happens, I would like to change some laws. I've started a vote for the Investiture, which is not really happening. Uh, people are undecided for some reason, uh, and for some reason just abstaining. Okay, nope, people are okay opposing it. Thank you. Uh, so this is not going to go through, uh, which is kind of annoying. Um, because there was no reason for people to reject it, right? Uh, they just did. Um, that's... Yeah, that's that's really annoying that this just happened. So, I have to wait five years because the council rejected it. For no reason. They just, they just did because they could. Um, yeah, so anyway. We could increase centralization a bit. Uh, I mean, people would support it. I'd rather go for this, actually. I can't, because legalism must be greater than three. Now, unfortunately, because I switched capitals, now legalism, you know, is... All of our tech is gone, uh, which is also, you know, a bit annoying. Um, so we'll just have to wait for this. Uh, yeah. Ugh, man. Oh, this is really frustrating. But okay, let's just move on. My goal for Scotland also can't really... You know, I can't really do that either because, uh, yeah, Malmo has left our court as um, and become the Duke of Moray. And so I can't really press claims for him anymore. So he's going to have to do it himself. And since we're not officially related or anything, I can't even join him in a war. So we'll just have to see how that goes. Um, but yeah, so it's fine for now. We're just going to be spending some time making money, hopefully. Oh, and I also do want to imprison some people. Now this guy, can you like, what's it? Again, that you're doing? He acted dishonorably. All right, fine. We'll leave him. We'll leave him then. If the council's against it, still, yeah. So this is not really happening. Can I just assassinate him? Not really. Wait, hold on. What am I clicking on? Um. At your court. He's at your court, right? He is. He's married. I would like him to be excommunicated. I could imprison him, actually. Outright. Uh, yeah, okay. Hmm. Don't really have any options of doing anything, so that sucks. And Kare has died. Okay. A severe stress. And so now his son, Enberth Sterken has taken over nine years old. Hmm. His regent is the Prince Bishop of Oxford. Uh, okay. And Dagmar declared, declared a war to Rogue White. Uh, okay, that's fine. I think that's a good move because otherwise the Duchess of East Anglia is going to inherit this stuff. You've got 2,000 men. I hope this is going to go well for you. Your enemy... Okay, yeah, he doesn't have enough men, I think. You should be fine. Should be fine here. Okay, very good. Very good. Good job, Dagma. Keeping your realm together. All right, that's very nice to see. Other than that, I just hope this is going to go away here. I, I can't ask my court physician to do anything, can I? No, I could compose a book, hold a grand tournament. So many things, and they're all so costly. I'm going to wait and save up a little bit of cash, maybe. We're actually making a decent amount of money. And they're finally... Goes the infection. Holy shit. Okay, and that actually increases our stats significantly. That was that was hurting us a bit. But yeah, stewardship is also not... Uh, the stressed things hopefully also going to go away. In fact, maybe a feast could be good. Mine event would be a dull affair, but Countess Maria the Wicked. Now, she was actually the lover of our father. So she is... Uh, 
you know, she's a special one. Um, I think, yeah, we're so in love with, uh, well, not in love, but I think, you know, we really like our wife. We think she's hot. Um, and we, I don't know if we know about this one, but she's known as the Wicked. She's known to have lovers and stuff. Uh, so, I think, I mean, hmm. Are we going to encourage her advances? It will never happen. I wouldn't say that. Let's just rebuff her. Let's do that. Let's just say we're a married man, you know? And let's see where that goes. Okay, at a festive outing in the wild, I found a message. Okay, so she's she's she keeps going. It says to meet Countess Mariah by the stream alone. Now, let me see what... Uh, okay, no, we can't see... What is her relation of me? Our opinion of her is actually very high. So she seems to be very attractive, actually. Okay. In a festive outing, it says to meet her by the stream alone. Exciting, my friends can cover for me. I will take no risks for the likes of Mariah. Hmm. It says to meet her by the stream alone. Would we want that? Is that exciting? Hmm. Do I want to betray my wife while she's breastfeeding? You know what? Let's not do it right now. If she keeps bugging us, maybe at some point. A man claiming to be the lord who disappeared seven years ago has found his way to my castle. He sings of the fair queen of Elfland, and some say his songs are prophetic. Long lost, but home again. We could be kind to this man. A courtier appears. Hmm. I don't know. Are we going to be kind? Let's actually, well, let's have him arrive at court. I kind of want to know who he is. This guy. Interesting. 65. He's the clueless. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm not sure. I could make him court jester. He's probably funny. That's a bit rude. Okay, let's keep an eye on him though. I kind of, I'm kind of interested to see what he says. Also, our marshal died, so we can appoint someone new. Um, yeah. Now I would love to appoint you. I mean, you're just so good. Duke of Viken would be a good idea too. There's actually a lot of good options. You are a crusader. Ah, <sighs> man. And again, you are a powerful vassal. You upset because of reasons. If I make you... If I put you on a council, you would actually like me a bit. But this guy would be loyal. He would be... It's unlikely that he would be loyal. I think I want a loyal person on the council instead. And let's have him train troops in our capital. Because there's a few reforms I want to, you know, start. So, yeah. Kind of need that. And I will make you the heir to England. If I can't rule, then the Staircase Dynasty should. Now, as I snuck into the kitchen for my usual night snack, I chanced upon Countess Mariah. We've been chatting and laughing for hours now, but the words have grown soft and our hands are touching. Suddenly, she leans in and whispers softly in my ear. Her hot breath sends lightning through my body. Desire overwhelms me. I must be strong. Hmm. It's... Hmm. I think we might actually go for it here at this point. Yeah, that's uh, probably what we'll go with. Okay, Duchess of East Anglia has formed an alliance. It's okay. And there we go. Oh, there's, is there going to be a fight now? Duke of East Anglia? Oh, she's... Wait, the Duchess is helping her husband in the, in the battle. Okay, yeah, well, I think it's a bit too late, though. Then again, they do have a lot of troops. Maybe not. So it's going to be interesting. Uh, Chief Grimm knows about my affair. He knows the child she carries is actually mine. Oh, that's not good. Ah. So wait, does our wife know? Yes, she does. Oh my god. All right, well, that's unfortunate. Uh, we should maybe improve relations with our wife there. Okay. Um... She's already carrying our child. 
Ah. Uh, I mean, didn't we already have... Wait, I'm confused now. So, wait, we had a nice night and she keeps trying to seduce us? Is that it? I'm confused, actually. And we've just gained a new rival as well, who's good at intrigue. I'm uncertain what that means for us. Ah. Uh... So I'm I'm just confused what's happening right now. Did we just have sex? Got her pregnant? Hmm. I'm not really sure what to do here, honestly. But yeah, okay. You have usurped the title very good. And you've strengthened your own position. Oh, very good. Yeah, you've got two duchy titles as well. So there's that. I'm just gonna, like, go with the middle option for now. Until I know what happens with the child. If that's, like, actually mine or not. Because I'm kind of confused. Okay, something has converted. Is it a subject or... I think it was just the person that converted. Okay, it's actually not that important then. We can just move on. There's a few weak claims we can press. Not too interested in any of them. I think maybe it's time for the tournament here. That's going to give us some prestige. Something we desperately need, obviously. We need 8,000 to form the Empire. Okay, and there is... Okay, so we actually do have a daughter. A daughter was born to King Hakon and Countess Mariah, named Gudrid. And she'll be acknowledged. She'll be acknowledged as our bastard. But, uh, yeah, not legitimized just now. So what does our wife say about that? Obviously unhappy. Yeah, I understand. I understand. I think we're gonna probably... I mean, is she a lover now or what? No, we're not lovers. We're just, I don't know, we're just like a one-night stand sort of thing. I think we're gonna keep it that. I think we're gonna rebuff her for now. If she keeps going. But there's gonna be the grand tournament for now. Someone was killed. Osric. Yeah, more people. Actually, is that my rival? No. They're all heretics. No, that's actually Iceland. Wait, has Iceland converted to Fraticelli? Well, parts of it have. But the Count itself is, or the Count himself is still Catholic. Good. Okay, more people are being wounded. I'm actually not too worried about that. We still have people in prison, by the way. I wonder if my council would be interested in revoking titles now. Still not. Man, what about the Duchess of Northumberland? Still, why would you say no? You've been swayed. Boah, this is freaking annoying. Okay, Edwin Morcarson. Oh wow, he's been killed. That's unfortunate. And Sinhild Magnuson was murdered. Oh, that sucks. Murder than the orders of Countess Ronda of Buchan. Huh. Wow. Well, there goes the glorious House Magnuson. And she did not even manage to give birth. That's incredibly uh, disappointing. But yeah, Duke Augment of Vican became third. Very good. I mean, he's a crusader. He should know about fighting. Iakan Macrissano. Second. And our marshal is the winner. Okay, that's not really a big surprise. Glorious event indeed. Increased our prosperity. It wasn't actually too expensive, all things considered. Okay, Duke Wolfmar could be imprisoned. Duke of Iceland. Why? Trying to kill the Count of Jorwick. I mean, it would be nice if you could just end your plot. In fact, let's, could people just end their plots automatically? That would be nice. Still, nobody wants to join our plot. Sucks. Okay, San Mora prospers our previous, our old capital. Alright. And, yeah. Uh, let me see if I can change some laws. Still can't do that. Alright, fine, we'll leave it at that then. What about primogenitor? We have to have reign for 10 years, and we need the administration before we can do that. Okay. And what's this guy doing? Hmm. Right, anyway, let's see if I can... Who are you? He must have been an enemy commander. 
Can I not revoke your stuff? I still can't. This sucks. Well, I'm not going to release her. I'm just going to keep her in prison for now. Because then at least she can't rise up. Okay, perhaps it's time I'll improve relations with my wife. Yeah. Okay. She was happy to oblige, actually. And we uh, can try and convince her of our good intentions. Let's see how that goes. It was nice finally being with her alone. Even though she's my wife, the du my duties as king often prevent me from spending enough time. I hope you enjoyed our frugal dinners. I hope I haven't taken you away from an important work. Um, let's say dinners, probably. Uh, okay. But before we can talk with our wife, our daughter comes, pulling her arm, pleading to play with her and her latest toy, completely oblivious to all the important work I'm in the middle of. Sometimes this kid can be really insufferable. Uh, not now, child. Yeah, I think we're gonna neglect her for now, just because we're stressed and diligent. So, we'll not play with our child. Sorry. But yeah, I snuck into the kitchen. Okay, so it's Mariah again. I think we're going to rebuff her stronger now. It's not happening. It's just not happening. Stop. I think she actually might like us more of this. Uh, yeah, rejecting seduction attempts. Sex appeal plus 10. Interesting. Yeah, okay, and then there's several other things we can do. Composing a book. I think we're going to search for a smith now, and let's see if we can get something. Uh, weaponsmith to forge me deadly weapon. New set of armor. Goldsmith to create jewels, befitting of my stat uh, status. I think maybe a weapon would be good, because we want to kill our rival in the field of battle. Maybe a good sword would have made the difference. Armor could be good too, as well. But yeah, my marshal has told me about a remarkable weaponsmith. Sure, let's hire him. Ail the weaponsmith. He will not marry. Okay. Uh, he had been checked by most knowledgeable attendants to ensure the quality was sufficient. I received him in the throne room. He introduced himself and gestured towards his numerous assistants, who all carried examples of his work. Does my king have anything special in mind? So we can go for a sword. Uh... Gives a bonus to command light infantry and heavy foot troops. Then a lance. Mm, an axe. Heavy infantry. Um, an axe. I kind of feel like an axe fits. Or a mace. Light cavalry. Uh, okay, mace or an axe. Well, since we're Norwegian, I guess an axe probably is the thing to go for. Let's do that. I see. An excellent choice, my king. Craft the best quality you can. 500 gold. That's super expensive. But I think this might this might be worth it. Yeah. High quality. I hope it's going to be good. I'm going to be super upset if it's not. Okay. Oh, the Duke of Kent actually died in a dungeon. Oh, not just him. Others as well. All right. Well, it's too bad. Too bad for him. Okay, Duke Granvald declared a war to revoke a county. Okay. A troubadour and his wife have arrived. We can gain extra learning. Or become charitable. I guess I'll just take the learning then. Why not? Okay. Duchess Dagma is attempting to promote vile heresies. Is she? She is be she's depressed and has been poisoned or suffering from food poisoning. Um We don't like her a lot, but she loves us. Is she in any factions? She's not. I'll just keep the information to myself for now. And there's a first saint. Blessed Witchman was a true exemplar of the Christian faith, living a pious and moderate life. In a grand announcement, Pope Leo has decided to canonize Witchman the Pious. Many tales are told about the saint and the feats he did in life. Stories tell of how, in the middle of prayer, Saint Witchman suddenly rose from the floor and floated above ground for several minutes. This periodically happened all throughout his life, showing us how he rose closer to heaven even before he passed on. Uh, interesting. It's a great honor for the family. It may, we may, may we all aspire to become as pious as him. Okay. A German saint. Okay. How did he die? In the shitter. Okay. Well, quite an inspiration indeed. And I think on that note, 
I'm going to be ending it for today. We'll hopefully have a nice weapon crafted next time. Today's video was brought to you by my glorious supporters over at Patreon. And right now, I just want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And before you leave, I'd love to have you subscribed so you can stay updated on all the new releases.